Hi guys, I'm Colleen and in today's video I will show you how to make a prototype PCB very easy. I'm gonna show you the easiest way I find. You can use any PCB maker. You just need a laser printer. The best way for me is to print the layer onto the uh, plain paper. Once it's printed, I can see in the area where the uh, printing is coming out and then I will use a piece of paper from a magazine. In my case, uh, the best uh, result I got from the, as you can see, the Argos uh, magazine. I'm cutting out a small piece of uh, uh, from the page to cover the uh, printed layer. After this, I'm uh, placing the paper back into the printer and reprint it. Once I have it printed, I'm inspecting the, the quality of the print and if everything is perfect, uh, I'm taking the PCB uh, board and uh, placing it on the top of the uh, printed layer. I'm making sure on the PCB board I don't have any uh, dirt or grease. I'm uh, uh, cleaning it first. You can use uh, white spirit, alcohol, and in my case I'm using the uh, nail polish removal. Then I'm taking the PCB board and facing it uh, down onto the uh, printed layer. I'm using a piece of uh, adhesive uh, paper uh, to uh, secure the board under the paper. I'm pouring the uh, nail polish uh, removal uh, onto the paper and uh, I continue pressing until the paper starts to uh, dry out because of the uh, heat uh, of my fingers the uh, nail polish removal uh, evaporates very fast once it's evaporated I'm taking it uh, under the running water waiting for paper to take more wa water on board and then try to remove it once it becomes very soft Underneath the water, I'm making sure all the paper is removed. Once this is done, the etching process can uh, begin. As you can see, I had my container uh, with the etching uh, liquid. I have a small uh, aquarium uh, air pump uh, pushing in the uh, air into the etching liquid, creating bubbles and make the uh, liquid uh, move around. As you can see, the final product uh, looks uh, very good, uh, perfect lines, straight lines, no errors, nothing. Uh, next step is uh, drilling the holes and one by one with different uh, sizes uh, of the drill depends on the component and uh, this process takes lo a very long time but um, if you pay more attention 
uh, you will have a very good uh, uh, board. Once everything is done, uh, start printing the uh, silk uh, layer. Uh, this layer will uh, help me uh, to solder on the uh, surface mounted component. Uh, once it's printed, uh, I'm using the same method uh, like before, using a, a torch. For the top layer, where I have the text and the alignment of the uh, component, uh, I'm using the same method, printing it uh, onto a fresh uh, paper uh, and starting the uh, same process using the light uh, to pass through the a PCB to help me to guide and once I find the right position I'm using the same uh, the tape and once uh, it's all in place uh, pouring the nail polish uh, removal and waiting uh, for the transfer to begin and once the paper is dry I can remove it under the uh, running water and as you can see, this is the final result. Okay, soldering time. As you can see on my old, uh, my first uh, version of the board, I had a header for the uh, Raspberry Pi GPIO uh, the other way around, and I have to flip, uh, flip it over. Uh, and uh, reprint it. As you can see, the numbers uh, are flipped and then now the soldering can begin.
quality of the PCB it's uh, really good and uh, I managed to sort all the uh, surface mounted components and um, uh, through hole very very well without any problems and very easy it's not perfect but uh, as a prototype it's amazing and it's working I need minor modifications but uh, all good thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video uh, I will use the uh, same uh, board with the Raspberry Pi to uh, create a wireless uh, switch